Hey guys, it's Noelle. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is going to be, I guess like an impromptu New York Fashion Week, New York City vlog. Uh, I kind of booked this last minute. It's actually New York Fashion Week right now. Um, and when I get there, it'll be like the second to last day. So I'm not technically calling this a New York Fashion Week vlog. I guess I can, but I'm not attending New York Fashion Week, unfortunately, this year. And um, I kind of regret it. I really wish I did go this year. I will definitely be attending next year. I know there's another following New York Fashion Week kind of in February, but that's kind of a really hard time for me just because it's after the holidays. And to be real with you guys, I'm actually honestly super broke <laughs> around February because I have Cash's birthday, our anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and it's just by the end of that i am just broke so i will be planning on going to new york fashion week next september for the fall season so you definitely can look out for that i really want to do that it's been a bucket list item for so long um and i feel like i'm definitely going to do it next year i'm in the place where i feel like my career is definitely progressing and I'm going next year. I'm going to make that a thing and I'm putting it on here. So I'm putting it out and seeing it first and you guys are gonna keep me accountable and make sure I go next year. So anyway, back to this video, I am currently uh, packing for <laughs> New York City. I am literally going from Sunday to Monday. I'm going for, I guess you could say two days, but it's probably like one full day. I got invited to a PR event that I really, really wanted to go to. And I ended up being off Sunday and Monday from my work. So I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. I just have a really good feeling about it. It's not like I'm going to be attending New York Fashion Week, uh, but if I do stumble upon something, um, I will just automatically go. But I will be taking an early, early flight on Sunday, and the event is on Monday afternoon, and then I'll be flying out literally right after the event. I wish I could stay for the after party, but unfortunately I can't because I have work on Tuesday. So you got to make, you got to do, and you got to, oh my God, what was I trying to say there? You got to. You just got to go with what life throws at you. And I just feel like this just kind of aligned perfectly. I have off. So you know what? Why not? So I am currently packing, trying to just put everything together. I literally don't have like any looks. I do have one look that I'm going to wear to the event. Thank God I like literally ordered a shirt the other day that just happens to fit like, I guess, New York Fashion Week. I'm not going to go with crazy with my looks just because a, I didn't plan for this at all to happen. So I'm kind of just winging things. So I literally am currently... Um, trying to right now pack for New York Fashion Week. So I have a look in mind for the event. Let me put you guys down right here. So I do have a look in mind for the event. It's nothing super crazy, but I do love it. I think it's gonna go, it's gonna be really cute. I've already packed it. Um, I'm packing like my travel stuff and kind of getting everything together because it was a last minute flight book. So I couldn't book it with the normal airlines that I usually fly. So I had to book it with a different airline and their requirements are a little weird when it comes to their baggage. So I am taking a carry on bag. So uh, I'm trying to fit like literally everything in there. Like my makeup, my shoes, just everything because I want to shoot an outfit the day before the event and the day of and so on and so forth. So I'm literally trying to cram everything in this carry-on bag. It's going pretty well. Um, I just hate to be rushed and I don't want to forget anything. So as long as I have like everything I need for that event, I'll be fine. And I'm in New York City. So if I honestly forget something, I'll just buy it there because it's like the best place to forget something. So yeah, I am packing, I guess, two like cool outfits if you want to say one for the event and then one to just shoot since I am in New York. Why not shoot an outfit for, I guess, New York fashion? You could say I could pretend I was there. So I'm packing that all in here and then I have just like a comfy outfit to wear just in case if I want to walk around. I do want to do some sightseeing before the actual event on Monday. So I'm just going to bring like a literally a comfy outfit, like bike shorts and like a band t-shirt or something. So I can just walk around and do that. Um, and I have to pack all of my like tripod and stuff. So I don't want to forget anything. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just crazily preparing for this weekend and making sure everything's perfect. Um, I already booked the wrong flight. Like I literally booked a PM instead of an AM. So I had to go change that this morning. That was fun. This is what, this is what happens when you do things last minute. But um, I'm just going with the flow and I'm so happy with all of the opportunities and things that God has just blessed me with in the past year and the last couple of months. I just truly know that this is my passion and what I'm supposed to be doing and could not thank you guys enough for all of the support and all of you guys following me and just giving me the constant love. Also, as I'm sitting here filming this, I hit 10K on my YouTube channel, which is awesome. I literally was crying earlier today and I just felt so emotional and I'm just so thankful for you guys. And honestly, I didn't think I would get this far. I don't usually focus on numbers but um it kind of just is a way for us as content creators to know that we're doing something right and that you guys love what we're doing so thank you guys 
for all the constant love and support. I will be doing a giveaway for hitting 10K. It will go on with my Instagram and my YouTube. So stay tuned. I will be posting a separate video for that as well. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that giveaway. It's going to be huge. I already asked you guys on my Instagram what you guys want out of the giveaway. I'm going to do a little bit of both because I asked if you guys wanted actual product, fashion, beauty, gift cards. So it will be a ton of everything. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you guys for all the love and constant support. I love you guys so much. So yeah, fast forward to the plane ride. It's going to be 6 a.m. plane ride. So fast forward to that and hello, New York City. Hi, guys. I'm at the airport. I just got my Dunkin'. I got a pumpkin spice latte and then I got some hash browns and a sandwich, but I'm here super early. They literally didn't have any other flight besides this one, so I'm here at like 4 a.m. Um, I'm going to eat this real quick and then walk to my gate. And I'm going to head to New York City and yeah, hopefully it's a good flight. Hopefully I see the sunrise since it is such an early flight. I'm really excited. But yeah, we're going to New York City, people. Hands in your body, I'm grabbing your ass Enjoying the moment, cause life moved too fast I'm looking forward, ignoring the past These are the times that we'll laugh looking back I'm getting lucky like coins in a well Goodbye to my haters, I'm wishing you well This is my man, if you couldn't tell This is our life and we living it well Late nights in the city causing hell Burn this bitch into the ground away Guys, I am here I am so tired, but I'm checking into the Nomo Soho. Hello guys. Okay, I am officially in New York City. I just checked in. They're not quite ready with my room yet because it is super early here. It's like 8 o'clock here in New York City. So they said it'd be ready around like 12, 1, 2. Not quite sure. So I'm just going to go get some breakfast since I'm super hungry right now. I think I'm going to go to either the Butcher's Daughter or Two Hands. Not sure yet. But yeah, I'm just walking around New York City. Can't really do anything. Can't really shoot. Can't really like get dressed or anything because I don't have a room yet which is fine. Honestly, I really don't care. I'm not going to like go crazy this trip. It's supposed to be super fun, but I'm still definitely going to be shooting and working. Um, but I'm just going to kind of locations got a little bit since I am staying at the Nomo Soho, which is right in Soho, which is my favorite neighborhood in New York City. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to see my room. I've heard so many good things about it. So that's where I'm staying. But yeah, right now I'm going to walk to breakfast. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. <laughs> Okay, I'm currently just sitting here. <laughs> um, killing time, also resting my feet because my feet hurt so bad already. I'm wearing my docks and they're just rubbing so bad on my ankles, so I'm just chilling. There's not much to do because it's literally um, 9.30 in the morning and nothing opens until like 10, like shops or anything, so I can't even like kill time by looking around in stores. So I'm just chilling. It kind of sucks. <laughs> I could be doing things, but I'm at least location scouting. Um, Soho has so many beautiful buildings and it's just overall a really great area to stay in. So if you guys are coming to New York City, I recommend staying in Soho because it's a really great neighborhood to stay in and it's just beautiful for like pictures and stuff if that's what you guys want to do if you're coming here. But yeah, I found some like great locations that I want to shoot in later once I get ready and stuff like that. So I'm kind of being productive a little bit, but also kind of sucks that I can't do anything. So. Hi guys, I am so, so sorry. Honestly, today was just pure craziness and I don't even know where to begin. So I'm just gonna set you guys down and kind of tell you guys what I got up to today. Okay, it was literally crazy. I'm kind of packing up because I am leaving tomorrow. Like I said, I was here for like literally 24 hours. Yeah, so today I got in New York City around like literally eight o'clock and I couldn't check in until they called me around like 11, 30, 12. So, I basically was walking around Soho, which wasn't the worst because like Soho is really, really beautiful. And I got something for breakfast. I got some coffee, but guys, my feet are annihilated from walking in my Doc Martens all day. I have huge blisters on my Achilles. So it just was like a disaster walking around today. I was in so much pain. And also I did meet up with my friend Maddie. I didn't bring out the vlog camera just because I really wanted to hang out with her and not just have my camera in my hand. I know she wouldn't mind because she's like the sweetest girl ever and she's huge in New York City. She's actually a model. She models in New York City. I did show her in one clip when we were out to dinner at the butcher's daughter. So 
Um, we were planning on actually meeting up again soon, coming back to New York City and just hanging out and having like girls weekend. So I will definitely put her in the vlog because I'm honestly sure I didn't even ask her, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind because she loves being on camera. But yeah, this time around, I just wanted to like relax. I felt gross. I was sweaty. It was so hot in New York City. I didn't realize how hot it was compared to where I am in upstate New York. I kind of completely forgot that it's like disgustingly hot here still. So I was just sweating all day. I was in sweatpants, boots. I was dying. So yeah, we, um, we met up. I went up to her apartment and we hung out there for a little bit, just relaxed. Um, kind of took my shoes off just because they were hurting me so much and then we walked to a market across the street and um, We just thrifted a little bit I actually found some really awesome things that I'm gonna show you I found two things that were amazing and I really want to show you guys So I'm kind of gonna do like a recap of the day I'll insert clips of what I got throughout the day just so you guys can see what we did But there is a pretty sure it's like the like bizarre so I don't know she said it and it's really funny but anyway she has like a market across her street that she lives from and they have some amazing like vintage pieces there was a lot of vintage designer and stuff like that and I picked up a couple of stuff that I found the first thing being this camera right here guys I am so so in love with this this is a working um Minolta camera and I am just so freaking excited the model is the SRT 101 and it works, it came with a case, and it's just, it's my baby. I've been wanting a film camera like this for a while. I have my other one that's kind of just like grab and go that I take with me on just like every day, just in case if I want to take something on film. But this is like a really, really nice camera. It cocks back and shoots. I'm just like so excited to start learning more about film and using this camera it's going to be absolutely be beautiful i have heard such great things about that and the pentax one so i'm just really excited that i found that one for a really great price also maddie helped me um lower the price because i'm so bad at doing that so i asked her to do it and she did a great job so thank you save me a little bit of money and then the last thing that i got from there um i didn't pick up a lot just because a i don't want to spend all my money here and two it was kind of expensive just because they are really nice pieces but i could not pass this jacket up just because it's literally me in a jacket and I knew I would regret it if I didn't get it so it's this denim jacket right here it's Levi's and it has a cow print on the back and the side of the um, sleeves and it's also actual fur um, and I'm just so so excited that I got this um, custom made Levi's jacket it fits me perfectly it's absolutely beautiful. This is me in a jacket and um, we both saw it and we're like, oh my God, we love that. And she was like, no, well, you have to try it on. So I ended up getting that. Other than that, we went, when was the next thing we went to? We went back to her apartment, just hang out for a little bit, got some water, just talked, uh, like we caught up and she's currently in school right now. So she goes to school here. What was that? She goes to school here in New York City, so she's just showing me the way. We walked around, got some ice cream, a really, really awesome place that also has vegan ice cream that's made with oat milk. I'll leave the name on the screen just because it was so freaking good. And then we took the subway to back to my hotel, which is awesome because I've only taken the subway once, so she got to show me the subway and how to do that, so that was fun. Um, I felt like a true New Yorker. And we came back here, I freshened up, I needed to wash my face, deodorant, all that, because I was just disgusting, I felt gross. And I changed, put on shorts, and then we walked to the Glossier store, which is actually right next door to the Nomo Soho. So if you guys are looking for that same area, the Glossier store is right across the street. So we walked there, we just did some shopping, walked around. Um, what else did we do? We got some dinner at the Butcher's Daughter, which was really good. I got a juice that was just amazing, the passion fruit juice. And I ended up getting the black bean burger, and she got the vegan quesadillas which were they looked really good so yeah we had lunch we had dinner there and we also actually met saw one of the photographers that shoots her a lot because if you're a model on the street walking there's a lot of street style photographers that just take photos of the models on the street and we just happened to walk across them so they were taking some pictures of us which was really cool i got to have my new york city model moment which is awesome hopefully he posts the pictures on there if i didn't look too hideous next to her she's like gorgeous um so hopefully she, he posts them because i would that'd be awesome to have a picture of me and her together walking and we are like our, our outfits literally matched so i only sort of picture of us that we took today um in a mirror like a mirror selfie and we just literally matched so yeah that was so much fun to like get my picture taken like walking across the street in new york city it was really awesome and get a little taste of like new york fashion week and like what they do for that whole week it's crazy but other than that yeah we just like walked around caught up did stuff yeah that's basically it and now i'm back here and we had a little mini photo shoot in front of the window with the view because it's so beautiful. You can see the Williamsburg Bridge from my window and you can kind of see, oh, is it the Brooklyn Bridge? Maybe 
the Brooklyn Bridge. It's the Brooklyn Bridge and then you can see the Williamsburg Bridge sort of kind of um, on the other side. So I will go show you guys the night view and then obviously tomorrow I'll give you a little room tour since I didn't do that. This place is absolutely beautiful and it's such a great location and honestly I'm just impressed. So let me show you guys the view of the hotel. Hopefully it comes up on camera. If not, I will show you guys tomorrow when it's light out. I turned the light out so you guys can see the full view. So that is the Brooklyn Bridge right there. And then you can kind of see the starting of the Williamsburg Bridge right here during the day. But this is just my beautiful view. And I don't have the best zoom, but the moon looks beautiful tonight. I love New York and it's such a great city and I'm just really happy to be here. I love this hotel and this is my view. So yeah, that is my view. Hopefully you guys can't hear the air conditioning. It's kind of loud in here. Um, hopefully my mic isn't picking that up. But yeah, I just got ready for bed. I took a shower. I felt so disgusting. I'm in uh, my pajamas now. I'm just going to relax because I am going to wake up super, super early tomorrow again because of the fact that I didn't get to shoot anything today and I want to at least shoot a couple outfits. I actually have some outfits I need to shoot for brands and New York City is like perfect to take pictures with them. So I definitely want to shoot tomorrow morning just to get it out of the way. I have to check out by 12. So it literally needs to be done by 12. Um, also just because it's so hot here that morning light is amazing. That's another reason why I didn't shoot today just because by the time I came back to my hotel, which was like three, it was the hottest. I was sweating. I felt gross and the sun was so harsh that it just would have been impossible for me to shoot. And also I was with Maddie. So tomorrow I'm just going to literally bang out. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and do three outfits. I did bring four, but I think I'm only just going to be able to do three just because I know me and it's just going to be crazy. Yeah. I actually have a really fun look planned for the event tomorrow. Hopefully I don't sweat my butt off just because I have to be out of here by 12 and the event is until three and it's like a long sleeve shirt. So I might actually die, but we shall see. But other than that, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I promise I will be better at vlogging tomorrow and vlogging the whole experience. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to bring my camera with me to the event just because it is a bigger camera. It's not like, it's just a big camera and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I will definitely vlog on my phone and get as many clips as I can as possible. Um, and then whatever I do tomorrow and I will be showing you guys me getting ready and stuff for like stuff like that for the event so um i will try my hardest to vlog as much as possible i'm so sorry um i will be back in new york city i'm pretty sure in about a couple weeks because i am visiting home because it, my niece is turning two and we if you didn't know i am my me and my family are from new jersey so i'm not too far away from new york city um it's about like a three hour drive from me so i think i will be doing a day trip up here again so i will be vlogging another new york city um vlog soon but other than that i will leave you guys here and i will see you guys tomorrow okay so i just woke up um i'm sitting down on like the desk and i'm gonna get ready for the day i'm watching keeping up with the kardashians um but i'll show you quickly what the view looks like right now sunset is the sunrise is pretty but i think it's gonna get a little bit better but this is what it looks like right now and this is what i woke up to pretty but i think it's gonna get better so I'm doing my makeup right now. I just wanted to show you guys the foundation combo that I've been loving. It's my favorite. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. I'm in the shade Punjab, and then I mix it with the NARS Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation. I'm in the shade Neutral Buff, and I mix these two together, and it just gives the most beautiful combo. Um, this really does help with smoothing my skin out and making everything look literally flawless, and then this just gives a really nice dewy foundation, and I've been loving these two together, so that's what I'm going to mix today. I just finished doing my makeup literally the same thing I do every single day but I wanted to show you guys this highlight that I'm using it's so pretty I am obsessed with drugstore highlights right now um, and I've also been getting a ton of comments on my channel to use more drugstore products which I am hearing um, I do own a lot of high-end products just because I am like a makeup fanatic and I did work at Ulta for a while so I do have a lot of higher-end makeup but I also just do love really buying high-end makeup sometimes it depends but I do also love drugstore so I'll show you the combo that I used today so the highlight combo that I used today I put this down as kind of like a base just so I had a start and then I put the other one on top this is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold you guys probably have heard about this it's phenomenal I love it I've already hit pan and then on top of it, I've been using this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter, and it's in the shade called Hustle and Glow, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It, it literally is a loose highlighter, and I just 
what I do with loose highlighters is I dip my brush in it, swirl the brush around, tap off the excess, and just put it on. And it's the most beautiful highlight ever. So I put that on top just to amplify it. So those are the two that I've been loving. I told you guys that I use the NYX Born to Glow foundation today, and I am obsessed with this foundation. It's amazing. You guys definitely need to try this out. I'm pretty sure it's literally like $10. Bronzer today, I use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze it again one favorite i've already hit pan this is in shade medium two i love this stuff it has a bit of sparkle to it but i kind of like that what else is drugstore in here that i use today oh and my new favorite mascara um i got this as a sample it's been around for quite a bit but um i just tried it and i'm obsessed it's a maybelline total temptation mascara i love it um i'm obsessed i think it's amazing so i've been using a ton like a lot more drugstore and i hope you guys like that yeah that was my makeup for today i'm going to quickly just curl my hair um, and do that and then go and shoot my first outfit very quickly and then i will come back and change and shoot the next outfit and go get some coffee as i do that because that'll be the, like the outfit that i wear today and then i will eventually change into my event outfit and i'm not sure how this is going to work because my event is at like three and i have to check out here by 12 and that means i have to walk around for like two and a half hours with this outfit on and it's gonna be so hot today so i don't know and hopefully my makeup just doesn't like melt off completely because i didn't bring setting spray so we're just unprepared it didn't even bring pajamas i forgot to pack pajamas so i had to buy this like band t-shirt from brandy melville yesterday um so we're just super prepared actually before i do my hair i'm gonna do a little hotel room tour for you guys since i forgot to show you guys the hotel yesterday it's absolutely beautiful so i'm just going to start over by the door so let me turn the camera around. So I am at the front door. Um, they have a little sink in here. I just have all my stuff here that I'm getting ready and like face wash and stuff. The bathroom is directly next to it. And you just open the door right here and it has a beautiful shower. That's about it. And then there's also a closet here. Um, there's a little desk area right here. It's a little crazy just because I have all my makeup and stuff out here all my jewelry, but and all my clothes on the ground, but this is the bed Super beautiful. I mean, obviously it's just the bed um, But it's was great. It got the job done. There is a TV in here and then here is the beautiful view like oh, stunning I loved waking up to the sunrise this morning. It was very beautiful. Um, and like I said, you guys can see the Brooklyn Bridge from the hotel room, which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is my first outfit that I am shooting. I have my tripod, my phone in here. Um, but this jumpsuit is so cute. It is orange corduroy. I am obsessed with it. Very 70s. Um, and I have like yellow-ish sunglasses that are gonna go great with this look um definitely high fashion not so much like wearable um but yeah i love this look and i'm gonna go shoot that right now really quickly and then come back up here and change okay i just changed my outfit i quick finished shooting um it started to drizzle so um i didn't want to bring my camera out just in case if it started to like downpour hopefully it doesn't rain today because that would be really really shitty have to be out of here by 12 so i'm definitely gonna go Got some coffee right now. I'm gonna go to Chacha Matcha. It's right down near my hotel and I've never tried that matcha. I wanna try it um, and see if it's good. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna find some breakfast and then after that I'm gonna come back here and get dressed in my event outfit for the day and just walk around with that because I won't be able to come back up here because I have to be out by 12 and the event's at three. But I think I'm just gonna walk around and look at some shops in Soho to kill time for the day and um, do that. So yeah, I'm gonna head to Chacha Macho, which is right down, and I'll show you my outfit that I switched into that's like a little bit more casual. This leather jacket is from Princess Polly, and so is this dress. I actually um, just filmed a Princess Polly haul, fall clothing haul with them, so that should be on my channel very soon, either before or after this, so I will link it up here somewhere that you guys can watch it. And I'm just wearing my docs. I don't know why, because they sucked yesterday, but they go really well with this outfit, and I really, really want to shoot this outfit. <clears throat> I think they went well with that. I'm only going to be walking down to get some coffee. I'll change once I come back up here after breakfast, because these shoes are so uncomfortable right now. My feet are killed yesterday. But yeah, I love this dress. It has little roses on them, and my earrings are also from Princess Polly. So I'm wearing a full fit from them today, and it's a little bit more casual, definitely more day-to-day, -day, which I love. So... 
yeah, I'm gonna go get some matcha. So I just finished up lunch at The Butcher's Daughter. I went there again since I went there yesterday and I loved it. And I just finished shooting this look. Love this look so much. This is what I'm wearing to the event. Um, I did my hair with like clips and a denim jean jacket, a denim shirt and leather pants. Now I'm just gonna walk around Soho. It's actually funny, when I was shooting this morning, I met up with some blogger babes that I follow on my Instagram and they saw me across the street and we met up so we were shooting together and then we ran into each other again at Butcher's Daughter. They happened to be inside while I was outside so we ate lunch together which is so funny. I forgot to pull out my vlog camera. I always forget when I'm like around people to do that so I'm going to try and be better tonight at the event when I meet people um, and try and show you guys some of the girls that I follow and some of the girls that I love. So yeah, I just, they were so cute and they were so sweet and I finally met them in person. They're actually based in California so it was really awesome to see them over here they're going to the same event that I'm going to tonight so hopefully I see them there but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just gonna walk around Soho for now and do a little shopping and stuff also it is so funny to see people just stare at you because I have a huge camera in my hand and I'm vlogging it's actually hilarious also a ton of people shoot here in Soho so it's like very refreshing to see people just shooting and taking looks and it's just I don't know it's very inspiring to be here in New York City and just shooting fashion looks I love it okay I did some shopping um just walked around i went to free people in soho i went to byredo just walked around and looked at some like luxury stores as well um, i'm gonna walk back to my hotel now because i have to drop off my tripod because it's killing my arm and then i'm gonna head to the event and just freshen up a little bit just because i have been walking around thank god it is not as hot as it was yesterday because i was sweating so bad yesterday but today is a lot better but yeah i really want some coffee um i only had one today and i really want another one either another matcha or a coffee so maybe i'll get that before the event hopefully there's food there that would be dope would love an event to have food it's my first event so i don't know um but i'm just really excited and i get to i'm really excited to meet people in like the industry I already met two amazing girls today so i'm really excited to just go and meet people but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the hotel now. I'm walking there now to just freshen up. Okay guys, I'm walking out of my hotel. I'm headed to the event. I'm gonna get an Uber and I'm gonna head right over. It's actually right near my hotel, so that's a win. I'm so excited. I'm literally having so much anxiety right now. I had like a meltdown in the Uber. I will talk to you guys when I'm done the event, but I'm okay. I've been following her on Instagram for so long. You guys should go follow her. What's your handle? Just my name, Olivia underscore McCarthy. <laughs> uh, she is gorgeous and I'm so excited oh, yeah, that I finally so met her. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It is actually the next day. I am just so tired. <laughs> and I will definitely go into bed early tonight, but I wanted to come on here um, because I didn't vlog while I was in the airport or anything after the event, and I kind of just wanted to sum up this vlog for you guys. I never really like to vlog in airports because it's just literally insane and chaos. So I got some Shake Shack in the airport on the way home and it was so good, it was my first time trying it and it was actually really good. I actually like it better than In-N-Out, but if Shake Shack had like the animal style sauce on top of everything, it would be amazing but um yeah so the event went amazing i am so happy that i went before the event i actually was really nervous and having some anxiety and i just did not feel well and i was in the cab and i was like 
trying to breathe. And when I was walking up the steps to go to the event, cause I didn't see anybody there. I just was like really nervous. And I just realized like in the cab ride that I was gonna have to, you know, socialize with people, which I got, I, I understood that, but it like hit me all at once. And I was like, I really hate small talk. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. And I'm most definitely an introverted extrovert. So once I start talking to you, I'm fine. But the initial like meeting and meeting somebody for the first time, or just small talk in general really makes me feel so uncomfortable. So if you guys ever meet me in person or if like any of my blogger friends that I follow on Instagram ever meet me in person for the first time, please know that I'm way cooler than I am when you first meet me just because I'm so nervous and meeting people. So it went really, really well though. I met um, some really amazing people that work with the Mayfair group. You guys should definitely follow them. They make the most amazing collages and they have horoscopes and every week and it's just they're a really great PR agency and the girls behind them are just awesome. I met some really awesome girls that I've been following on um, Instagram for a while. Uh, so it was it was a really fun time and I'm so happy that I went and went out of my comfort zone and went and did that. So yeah, it was awesome. The trip was amazing. I think I'm going to be back in New York in a couple weeks anyway because I'm going home to visit my family and my niece's birthday like I told you guys earlier in the vlog. So I might be going to New York again just to go since I loved it so much. This was my first time kind of going and just like going for work, I guess you could say, and just doing my own thing without like... Every time I usually go to New York, it's either with cash and we're doing stuff for like the touristy things or I'm with my family and we're, again, we're doing touristy things. So it was kind of nice just walking around New York uh, and just day-to-day -day life. So it was really awesome. So I definitely will go back and um, in a couple weeks and I'm really excited for that. So again, I will be vlogging that as well, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Also, I really wanna know, I know a lot of people are for or against New York Fashion Week. If I was to attend, would you guys be interested in that type of content? Does it interest you or you just don't really care? Um, I just, I'm curious to know what you guys would like to see and if I go next year, would you guys wanna see a vlog and content with that or you just, quite frankly, don't really care. So let me know down below. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.